Hi there. I'm just going to briefly talk about how to start a limited liability company in the state of Hawaii. Now this can be done online or through the mailing of a PDF form uh, to the Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs. The filing fee for uh, either domestic or foreign LLCs is $50. An additional $25 can be attached to that um, if you want your processing to be uh, expedited. Uh, if you're filing with it as a foreign LLC, you're also going to want to attach a certificate of good standing, um, which has been issued 60 days prior to your filing with the state of Hawaii. Uh, so, we'll just briefly go over how you're going to go ahead and file here. So, uh, all business entities in Hawaii will need to operate under a name which is unique to them and distinguishable from all other business entity types. So to ensure that's the case with your name, you don't want to uh, perform what's called a business entity search. We've got a t tutorial for that here. Um, you can also perform a name reservation, which will prevent other um, businesses from uh, filing using your name for a period of 120 days um, before you file with Hawaii. Uh, that'll cost you 850. So once you've um, ensured that your name is indeed unique with the state within the state you can um, begin by downloading either the PDF or the articles of an organization which is uh, the domestic uh, application or the application for the certificate of authority which will be for foreign LLCs you can choose between those different forms uh, you'll see that the domestic one is called form LLC1 and foreign is F LLC1 uh, online. We have uh, detailed tutorials for each one of these processes uh, in these links here. So if you've uh, downloaded the, either the PDF or you filled out the online form, you're going to be ready to uh, attach the filing fee. So this can be done online with a credit card or if you're planning on mailing in your application, it can be done by writing a check made payable to the department of uh, Commerce and Consumer Affairs. Also, at this point, you're going to want to attach your certificate of good standing to your application. You'll find, like, if you're doing it online, there'll be, a, you know, one of those choose file options that you can upload the PDF. Uh, if you're doing paper filing, you're going to actually have to attach the physical copy of it. Paper filers will also have to send all their documents into this address and await processing. If you're doing it online, after you've paid the filing fee, it'll be automatically sent. You don't have to worry about that, of course. Uh, a few quick tips. Um, each year, you're going to have to renew with the state by filing an annual report. I was just going to update them on any sort of changes that have happened over, of course, the course of the year. If you don't do this, uh, you'll no longer remain in good standing. You won't be considered active. And if enough time passes, your uh, you'll risk disillusion. So um, it's 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 pretty straightforward how to do it. Uh, it also costs fifteen dollars for either a foreign or domestic entity. Uh, it can be done online. It can be done from a mobile device. So there's really no reason why not to. You also want to file for a employment insurance number, an EIN. Uh, this is used by the IRS to identify you for tax reporting purposes. It can be used by you to conduct any you know, level of financial transaction. You can apply for it online and you can apply for it using the PDF form SS4. Uh, we also recommend that all owners and operators of LLCs draft an operating agreement. Uh, if you're a foreign company and you don't have one, um, I mean you probably should have one by now, uh, but also domestic companies can use our free template but this does it just details all the rules and regulations under which the members of the company uh, will need to operate. It, it isn't legally required in the state of Hawaii, although it does serve as legal proof of the ownership of the company, um, you know, any capital contributions of each member, uh, as well as their liability and rights within the company. Uh, and as I said, a free template can be found. Uh, by clicking on this link and we got a little bit more information about why you might want to go about drafting one. I hope that was helpful. Best of luck.